My name is Starla Henderson with Fronter House Quilts blog and I'm going to be doing a quick quilting tip and today we are going to work on an inside point or a valley but it's where you're you're coming into a point that is on the inside instead of a point that comes onto the outside. And we're almost there. You're, as you're approaching it, you're going to keep turning your fabric and eventually as you get to that point I've already trimmed a quarter of an inch into the shape of the point but I have left a good amount between my raw edge and where the actual point is because you, you don't want to clip that until the very last minute because it will fray if you clip it and play with it too much so I keep turning and as you can see I have turned it as far as it can go and now it's pulling against where against the the seam allowance there. So I'm going to take that last stitch. I'm going to anchor my needle, I mean my thread with my needle. And now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to clip. This point is drawn in and I'm going to clip right up to the inside of that point very carefully. Now I will continue to turn a little bit at a time. This is kind of like doing a, a curve. You just do a short amount at a time. Just bits. Now I'm to a point where I want to turn and you pull it until all of that raw edge is under and you have to play with it a little bit and then you're going to sew all the way down until you get to that point. When you get to where the point is, sometimes this means taking very tiny stitches, you're going to bring your needle up right on the inside of that point, just on the other side of where you've clipped like on the other side of your line. And then you're going to turn your work. I'm going to pull out my basting stitches. Okay. Now, you're going to take your the next part and you're going to kind of like whenever you're doing a um, outside point, you're going to just sweep it under and you're going to swoop though all the way under this point, all the way under. And then you're going to take your needle and you're going to go straight back in, right into the center of that inside point. And I'm using a, a, a thread that you can see, so you're going to see it. Whenever I do this on an actual quilt, I use a thread that blends. And with practice, you're not going to see it. I'm going to trim my little fuzzies there that came from off of my thread. And so you're go you go straight down and so your thread is your needle is underneath your work. Sweep it, make sure all of that's tucked in and then you're going to come back up under as close as you can into that crease, that fold that you've just made. And you're going to keep going then. And work up the other side. And then you just keep right on appliqueing until you come to another inside point or outside point or whatever it is you're doing. But just keep right on working along your piece. And that's how you do an inside or a valley that's the inside part of a heart. This for me is the more difficult point to do. Therefore, sometimes I use fray check because fabrics will fray and, and again an excellent way to practice this is with hearts and the more you practice the easier it gets <clears throat> excuse me this is Starla Henderson with Fronter House Quilts blog and this was a quick quilting tip thank you for joining me